Hello everyone, I have no idea what you ask for New Year's, but I asked Santa to give me a beautiful castle of creativity. And in each of the workshop rooms, you're gonna see a magical surprises for you. Today, you're gonna see DIY. Today I'm gonna show you one more DIY for Valentine's Day, but this time the candles I'm gonna make will include crayons to color them. Find few large bowls or pots with flat bottom, any colored candle, jar for your candle, and Crayola crayons. It has to be Crayola because only this brand can color wax easily. Pick one color hue, like pink, green, or blue. And this is how I will separate them in each pot. If you want to get same color like this one, find Pearl Crayola. It's same thing but has some shimmer in it. This way you can get this beautiful look. More crying you add, more pigment and your wax will be. I just added entire crayon for each color, but don't forget to crush it before you melt it with wax. Now pour each color in your containers. It should be big, flat, and pour really thin layer, like 5 mm the most. Since it's such a thin layer, it will dry out really quick. This is how thin it should be. After it's all dry, crush it. And now we're going to do something I did in my previous videos. By adding a thin layer of melted wax, then colorful wax, then add more wax and keep repeating that until you're done. Melting wax, you see, is not hot. It's close to be warm or even slightly cool. That's the type of wax you want to use. And if you need, you can use stick to help you spread your blocks around. Also, you can use more than four colors, of course, like six or eight. But then you need to find a way bigger candle in a way bigger container. Last year should be cover your entire candle with little blocks and melted wax. Okay, let's see what I have here. So roughly it took about 5 hours to cool down this candle. Depends on the size, it might take more time, it might take less time. So, let's see. Now I'm going to try to make it as shiny as possible so that you can see all the colors but at the same time it stays flat. Okay, now to make it shiny, this is what you need. First try to find a paper box. Don't use towels, don't use anything else because it would not leave a clean surface. Second, you would need this pancake maker. So obviously it's made for kitchen but I'm not using it for kitchen anymore, I'm just using it for crafts. So you want to clean it from one side and then using the paper right away to make a shiny surface. You want to use the shiny side, not the kind of like a sandy side of it. Make sure you have at least a few layers. That will be easier to throw away as soon as it gets dirty. So when you're going to clean one side, don't push hard, just twist it around so that it won't get too flat at once. Here we go, this is what I have. It looks much better than other sides. Now I'm gonna finish up the rest of the sides. Here's what I have. Now I can finally see all the colors coming through and I like the shades of it as well. Better if you use ice cubes pot or medium sized pots are fine too. White wax, candle wick, Crayola crayons and bowl. After I melted wax and pour some of it in ice cubes container and some in medium sized container, this is what I got. Those that I pour in medium sized container I cut into long pieces. This is really long candle wick. And it's perfect for this candle. 
First, pour about 1 cm of melted wax. It should be warm, not hot. And then stick candle wick inside. Wax will dry out really fast. Then I can start adding some large blocks with little ones around it. While I put these 4 blocks, wax dry enough that I didn't even need to hold it anymore. After you're done with your blocks, pour more wax to fill entire candle and pour about 2 cm above your blocks, so it'll be easier for you to clean it. This one took roughly about 3 to 4 hours to make as well, even though it's longer but thinner. It might take roughly under 3 hours for you to do a candle like that, maybe over 4 hours, depends on the wax that you used and also again depends on the shape. Last time I used stove to clean the sides. This time you can either use fan or actually regular iron. Obviously this is my craft iron. So to clean the sides I need a flat surface where I have enough space to go all the way to the bottom. Of course, make sure the surface that you're using won't melt or anything. And top surface, I'm still gonna clean with stove. And the temperature I'm using is actually medium, but depends on the iron use. This is the old one, it might work on the medium. For some other irons, it might work on the low. Okay, now let's clean top surface. But before I will do that, this wix is so long that I need to create a slightly hole here so that when I will clean it, it actually creates a flat surface right away. So use a knife or something sharp that you can create this hole. And here I got the finally top surface with colors. And this is what I got. It looks way better than before it was clean and obviously you don't have to do a long one. You can do something small in different colors and another square. Thank you so much for watching! If you feel like you're in love with DIYs just like me, then click on subscription button under this video. Bye bye!